everyone. My name is Archie Kalepa, and I'm just here to talk to you guys a little bit about the, um, the equipment that we're using today in uh, some of our trainings and the stuff that um, you know we're really comfortable with in all kinds of conditions and um, you know the development and how good this equipment is today. Okay, so early on when we first uh, saw these wings. You know, through uh, iWaterman Unlimited, we we're blessed with the opportunity to test some of the wings out. And uh, Brian Kellano was the first one to put one on his ski, did the testing, and we just saw how amazing um, the capabilities were. And we could do so much more um, with our training and the type of training that we were doing. And it just was like, we all saw the benefits of what the, uh, this tube was doing and through the R&D work with the, um, the wing, the company, the wing, we were able to work and use and develop and utilize uh, this, um, this wing, which today um, we don't operate without it. Uh, in our environment, in our world of operation today, uh, of training, uh, this is a necessity tool that we um, we swear by. And regardless if we're doing lifeguard training, um, any type of agency training, we highly recommend um, you guys working with the tube. Like anything else in life, you got to give it a chance. You got to try it out. You know, it's um, uh, until you try it you'll become a believer and you'll realize how much more capabilities you'll have with the use of the tube. So my overall opinion on the ski collar is, uh, this is so amazing. This thing is like, um, you know, it adds so much stability, but more importantly, it doesn't affect um, the performance of the ski, whether you're doing pilot maneuvers, maneuvering to the surf, or going in and out to the surf. What it really does, it gives you the opportunity to make less mistakes because this acts like a ballast. Um, normally, if you put a hard, hard bank, this would help you um, from flipping over number one. And if you put more than three people on the ski, it's really, really stable, which is really important in some of the environments that we work in today. And, um, you know, I think there was a lot of uh, skepticism in the beginning when we first started using the collars because people didn't have confidence in the ability of what they could do in big surf. And what we found out was it actually um, allows you to punch through the wave and be more stable when you come out the back end. And so all the way around, it's just, uh, it's, it's added safety from bumping up to things, maneuvering in the surf. Um, when you first look at it, you think to yourself that, well, this might, you know, um, hurt the performance of the ski whenever you're doing maneuvers or turns or, going through surf, but it actually doesn't. It, it enhances it, and we swear by it today. We, um, all of our skis is a must, and you'll notice a great difference when you drive a ski with the tube on it versus a ski without the tube. And once you um, build up the confidence to trust what it's meant to do, you won't even know it's there. And it helps keep you dry. Yeah, so going upwind with the collar on, it, it really helps disperse the spray versus the spray coming straight over the ski. Now it rebounds off the, um, the wing, the tubes, rebounds off of the tubes and is deflected outwards, which is really, really nice. When you're on the water for 12 hours at a time or you know all day long, Part of your goal when you're driving this ski is um, to try and stay as dry as you can because that 
takes a toll on the body. So you're constantly maneuvering or looking for ways to maneuver the ski so that you stay dry. This really, really helps um, the effect of getting wet all the time or getting sprayed in the face. It really does a lot of deflection, which is really, really great. It has a tendency to go lower, but as soon as you come out the back, it'll pop up sooner. And what it does, it doesn't pull the ski back. When it pops through, it pops forward, which is what you want, right? And, um, you know, those of you or any of you that have drove in a ski through a wave to the surf, um, knowing how much throttle to apply, knowing how much um, throttle control or the angle on the wave, this gives you just that little bit more added um, uh, reliability or confidence to actually punch through a wave and the reaction that when it comes out the back end of the wave, how quickly it resurfaces and doesn't suck you back down. This is really amazing stuff. And you know, the thing is, is this is like a catwalk. I can walk around the ski without even having to worry about the ski flipping over and as you know we're constantly opening hatches grabbing stuff strapping down boards or whatever and just having the ability to um to use this as a catwalk and walk around where they be the front of the sea ski the side of the ski it's it's just um i cannot tell you how much of a plus having this on your ski is without um hampering any performance whatsoever. You know, and even like um, uh, using it, let's say a vessel breaks down and the vessel needs uh, to be towed. But before you tow the vessel, the vessel's getting close to the rocks. You can just come up and just bump it and, and push it and move it along until you get it into a safe area where you can uh, throw a tow line to it. The, the, the capabilities is just amazing. And you can turn a, a, a vessel on a dime by just coming up to it, bumping it, and just and you can just, you can pretty much turn it like a tank. Amazing stuff. So when you flip the ski with the tube on it, You'd be surprised how easy it is to flip it back over. But first of all, having a tube on the ski really minimizes the chance of it flipping. But if it does flip, one of the things is, you know, it gives you an added um, footrest. You put your feet on and flip the ski over. It's not any different than a ski without a tube flipping it over than a ski with, with a tube. So the durability of the inflatable collar is, you'll be amazed. If you notice, there's a, a rib that is on the outside. So this is there for a reason, so that when you pull up to a dock, you know, it gives you the added support because some docks, they have um, little barnacles growing on it. And this just gives you all the protection and it's very durable. It's, this tube will last just as long as a ski will. And, um, you know, it's, it's um, we're amazed. We're really amazed at how strong they are, how durable they are, and um, the capabilities that it allows. Number one, you protect your ski from getting banged up because this is hard fiberglass from banging up against the pier or banging up against another vessel. What this does, it's like a pillow. It just gives you the added protection with the added durability. You know, one of the things that's really, really important for us, um, you know, that are going out and sharing all this good information uh, with you guys, we've come to learn that anytime we get a new piece of equipment, we make sure we go through the little details of rigging everything up properly. Number one, and getting the proper equipment so that we can utilize what we consider not a toy, but a tool. Having this